Hey, I'm Gary Baca here, and we're here standing in front of the Black Repertory Theater, a theater that's been here in the community of Berkeley for 45 years, since 1964. We're here with Sean Von Scott, the director and curator of this great theater, and of course they've had many, many great plays and acts, and Sean, it's great to be with you. Oh, it's fabulous to be here. Tell us about some of the great people that have performed here. Well, over the 45 years we've been here, Whoopi Goldberg, Danny Glover, Paul Mooney, Cat Williams, LaToya London, the wife on the Bernie Mac show, Kalita Smith, Terry Vaughn from the Steve Harvey show, uh, mega film producer, David Talbert, um, you can go on and on and on. It's a lot of folks, a lot of folks over 45 years. This place is a treasure, so you've seen a lot of people come and go. How important is it that we have a community theater, and especially a place called the Black repertory theater, how important is it that it's in this particular place? Well, it's paramount uh, as far as theater and the arts are concerned. This is one of the last places left, with one of three in the nation. And without this, you wouldn't have a place where people who don't have experience could go. This is a place where all those famous names that I just told you about actually started out. They had an opportunity. They didn't have to be SAG or AFTRA, have the union card. This is the place where they got the experience and cut their teeth, so to speak. Now tell us about the history of the theater and how it began. Was it with your grandparents? Yeah, with my grandparents. Actually, a lot of people don't know. It actually started in Mississippi. But if you know anything about Mississippi and learning about your history and teaching folks to read and write, well, uh, my grandparents actually had to flee Mississippi because the Klan came after them as a result of them actually producing a black repertory group. So what ended up happening was they made a pact that whatever they were doing in Mississippi, when they got to California, they would do the same thing. So the first thing, of course, my grandfather was master carpenter, built the church, which is down to Methodist around the corner from here. And from there, my grandmother taught Christmas plays and Easter plays. And after a while, my grandmother told my grandfather, remember, we've got to actually do what we were doing. And, and so as a result, they spun off from the church and then they began the works of over 150 different black playwrights and they were in people's backyard, recreation centers, senior centers, and then finally on their 40th anniversary, my grandfather surprised my grandmother with a double storefront conversion right around the corner on Alcatraz and it sat 99 people and up until ninth of the late uh, 1970s and early 1980s, they actually performed there. Well, you're actually giving young people an opportunity to hone their skills when it comes to acting and so like Latino kids, uh, black kids, just kids in the neighborhood in the area are able to come here and find out if you know they're able to uh, become uh, an actor in a play and uh, do you see that man especially that's got to be a great thing for you to know that you know you're here and you're available to you know have auditions and have people act and and really be a, a great vessel for people in the community. Well, you know, it's it's a great honor, and um, you know, just <laughs> all glory to God. Because if it was on my strength, I wouldn't be able to do it. As you can see, those pictures right there behind us, you know, those are the pictures of over 150 kids that did over 44 shows this summer of Lion King and the Wiz. That's this summer, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., which we do every summer, which is a Broadway production camp. Kids from all races, creeds, and colors come from out of this community and surrounding communities, and they're able to actually whether they're good, bad, in the middle, they're able to all play the lead role. And at the end, you pick them up in big stretch limos. And they got a red carpet, paparazzi night. So a lot of kids go to Disneyland. A lot of kids can't afford to. We're the Disneyland that they go to. Now, tell me about some of the upcoming shows here at the Black Repertory Theater. I know you have the play Sparkle. Oh, yeah. Uh, you also have a few other ones. you got a big concert happening December 12th with uh, right. Richard Bean of, of Malo and, and the, some of the people from Santana are going to be here. But yes, tell us about what's coming upcoming here at the theater. Well, upcoming here, as you said, we've got that spectacular show coming on December 12th with uh, Rick, Richard Bean. Um, we've got the folks from uh, who is in Malo. We've got, uh, you know, the dudes that just Suavecito. We, 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 we've got um, uh, Mystic. I mean, we've got a whole Sapo. We've got a whole bunch of oh, famous Oh, Paul Mooney. That, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> Paul Mooney is actually going to be opening up that show. Now, Paul Mooney is the best friend of Richard Pryor. Uh, formerly, and also is on the Dave Chappelle show. Yeah, he was Negro Domus on the Dave Chappelle show. Paul Mooney has written for uh, Sandra Bernhardt, In Living Color, Saturday Night Live, Robin Williams. I mean, you name it. If they had a real good career in comedy, 
somewhere along the way, Richard Pryor's best friend, Paul Mooney, had something to do with it. That's right. So he'll be here for New Year's Eve? He'll be here from December 26th all the way to two days after New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, then New Year's Day, and then <laughs> the second. I, I told him I don't know if he wanted to really get the word out about his new book, which is out, and he'll have his Showtime special coming up. His new book is Black is the New White, and um, he's on tour nationally, but he's going to kick off his national tour, which is a one-person stage play here where he always kicks off his national tours at the Black Repertory Group in Berkeley. So well, we're excited about that. He's a comic comicholic. I mean, he's just, you know, continuously working. Uh, uh, but tell us about yeah. Sparkle. That's been extended. That's a play uh, based roughly on Diana Ross and the Supremes. And it's, of course, a classic play, but this is uh, running till January 19th, correct? Yeah, well, if you look it up online, they call it African-American uh, film, cult film classic, meaning that this is something that people's grandparents grew up on, their grand, uh, grandfather, grandmother took their mom to see it, so on and so forth. What we've done is provided it on stage, and it's the first time that it will ever actually happen in the world, in the nation, right here at Black Repertory Group. We've got some up-and-coming actors and actresses that are spectacular. The shows have been sold out. We're here every Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m., Saturday matinees at 2.30, and Sunday shows at 4, with the exception of December 12th, of course, because we've got the Latin legend, uh, La Musica, that's going to be here. But um, every other every other time we're going to be here, and then we're going to be moving it on down the road some. So if you go online to www.blackrepertorygroup.com, you can kind of see the schedule, and, and, and uh, come on down and enjoy yourselves. So people can also find out about auditions uh, for your next play, and also learn more about the theater, the address, and you're actually really located conveniently to BART, right? One block south of the Ashby BART station, which you know uh, is South Berkeley. Uh, we call it Uptown, like Harlem it, it, in New York is Uptown. This is Uptown in Berkeley. And we're one block south of Ashby BART station. Like I said, blackrepertorygroup.com, our phone number 510-652-2120. And yes, we're an opportunity here for actors, for producers, for promoters, uh, for people who want to get involved in film. We have a new program that's going to be opening up here. And you're opening up the Latin legend, so we're really excited about that. So it's a whole lot going on here at this community theater, and we're excited. We're really excited about it. The Black Repertory Theater, 45 years in the business, and I got to congratulate you for keeping your parents and your grandparents' dream alive by, uh, you know, continuing Thank their you. legacy. And I'm Gary Baca, right here in Berkeley, all the way live. And also, uh, can you get me into the play, Sean? Maybe I can play one of the guys in Sparkle. Uh, yeah, what yeah, do you we think? actually have you playing one of the guys in oh, Sparkle. You oh, just, I didn't know that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Who, yeah, what's yeah, my you character? I really didn't know, but you're, you're actually going to be playing Hector. And Hector's actually the guy that runs Spanish Harlem. And oh. so, you know, if you know, if you know, if you know the film Sparkle, this is Hector. <laughs> okay, is well come on Hector. down to the Black Repertory Theater. Once again, give us your phone number. 510-652-2120. And the website is the blackrepertorygroup.com. Black All right, thanks a lot, Sean All right, Ron Scott. Pleasure. Thank you, Gary.